Right, let's look at example 17. In how many ways can a committee of five be formed from a group of three boys and five girls if there's no restrictions in the selection? So the main objective is to form a committee of five members amongst three boys and five girls. So essentially, I can choose any five of them. It can be a mixture of boys and girls. It can also be all girls, as long as there are five of them. So therefore, the number of ways to form this committee would be eight choose five. Right, let's move on to part B. The same committee of five, now there's an added restriction to it. That is, the committee must have more girls than boys. So if you think about it, there are quite a few cases whereby the girls uh, can be more than the boys. It could possibly be all girls, which means five girls. It could also be four girls and one boy. And last but not least, it can also be three girls and two boys. I can't have two girls and three boys because that will mean that there are more boys than girls. So case number one, five girls. The total number of ways would be five choose five because I have five girls and I need to choose five of them. So there's only one way. Case number two, four girls, one boy. Amongst the five girls, I will choose four of them. So five choose four. So now I'm left with one vacancy in the committee. Amongst the three boys, I will choose one of them to be in that committee. So I have three choose one here. And because this event happens successively, we need to make use of the multiplication principle whereby I multiply these two values together, which gives us 15. So case number three, three girls, two boys. The same idea, five girls, I choose three of them first, and the remaining two vacancies in the committee among the three boys, I'm gonna choose two of them. That's why we have three choose two. So we multiply together, this gives us 30. And finally, the number of ways to form this committee with more girls than boys would be the sum of all these three values, giving us 46.